And this is Birmingham. I'm up at the top of the road. That goes down the hill. And here's the Tree City, USA. Because there are so many trees here. This is what it looks like. Not too exciting. That building with the green roof is a high school. Kind of a weird one. And that building with the red circle is a children's hospital. This is Vulcan. He's at the top of the hill that overlooks the city. And he's kind of controversial because he has no pants on and you can see his butt crack from the back. So, But he represents um, the iron industry, which actually founded this city. So he has like a, I don't know, some kind of iron making tools in his hands. Anyway, I'll take you around and show you the back. Everybody likes to look at busts, right? Okay, so here he is from the back side. And you can go up the elevator and walk around that little platform up there. See the city? But it costs $6. So there you can kind of see his bare butt crack that everybody argues about. There's also a museum uh, below him, or I guess next to the, next to him, where they tell you about iron ore and creating metals. This is the Birmingham Museum of Art, which I think looks dreary even when it's not raining. I don't know, it's not very art museum-ish to me. It's kind of blockish and boring, but here it is. Okay, I never understood this as art, but apparently somebody else does. So here it sits in front of the museum. This is the entrance up to the exhibit. I always think those glass things are so cool. Here's an example of the permanent art exhibit here at the museum. Here's some art reflecting Native Americans. I'm wondering if these houses look anything like the Guaranese used. This is super random, but every year we have to pay taxes for our cars that we own. And this is where you have to come stand in line for like three hours at 6 o'clock in the morning to try and pay your taxes. So they give you a little sticker to put on your car so that the police know you've paid every year. I'll show you mine in just a minute. So that's my license plate, and every April I go renew the tag at that building. Obviously, I'm paid through April of 2013, thank goodness. This place is called The Summit. It's one of our ritzy shopping areas. Okay, what's This is Five Points South, where the streets come together to make kind of like a big star. Kind of the local hangout. Got a little bit of everything. And of course, you have your local Starbucks. Hello, ladies. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Live in Birmingham, Alabama, baby. Roll Tide. Peace out. Boy Eagle. Uh oh. Boy Eagle. How you about to start Boy a walk down here? This is where 
I bring my recycling every week. Glass, steel, aluminum, plastic number one, and plastic number two. Yes, ma'am, I'm off the lawn. Just to pump gas. Clean your hands afterwards. This is called Railroad Park. You guys have your railroad museum. We don't use the train tracks either. So you can see the railroad cars still sit there. And they turned this place into something that the public can use. So there's lots of people here usually on the weekends. Something for everybody, really. Hey guys, this is Ruffner Mountain. It's my absolute favorite place in Birmingham to go hiking. So I'm going to show you a little bit. This is the forest of Alabama. Not near as interesting as Fos de Iguazu. This is the rock quarry where they used to dig up rock, I guess. You can see all the walls in the winter, but not right now. Guys, I found a bee that's sleeping. How cool. This is the quarry from the top. It's really beautiful. And up here you can see how deep it is. Here's an Alabama snake, guys. I don't know what kind. I thought it's like a chain or whatever. Nope, it's alive. <laughs> See our trail markers so you don't get lost when it snows? Uh -huh. Which is kind of a joke because it doesn't really snow here very much. Well, that's a little glimpse of Birmingham. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and definitely let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.